California rivers are running high and cold as the snow melts from our drought busting winter. And it is proving to be a dangerous combination for our as our temperatures rise. New tonight, CBS 13's Tony Lopez is live along the Sacramento River with this developing story. All eyes are on the water marks tonight. Here along the Sacramento River, it sits at about 24 feet. As we pan over, let me tell you, wait until you hear where it was last year at this time. But first, here's where we are tonight as the snow continues to melt. With the deepest snowpack we've seen in May in nearly 20 years, and temps feeling more like early summer than spring, the Sierra snow has no place to go. But here, filling up our rivers and reservoirs. Near Yosemite, where temperatures this week are expected to reach the mid-80s, the Merced River could overrun its banks, and weather experts warn the valley could experience minor flooding. Piled on top of that concern, the mountains of snow melting at a rapid pace near Lake Tahoe. That's putting the Truckee River on the brink. The Department of Water Resources warns the Truckee River has already reached flood stage and is likely to stay there the rest of the week. And as for reservoirs across Northern California, the major ones are either at or above storage capacity levels. Put Shasta Lake, our largest, at the top of that list. It's at 109% for this time of year. Lake Oroville in Butte County, damaged spillway and all, is 91% of average for this date. A date on the calendar that may be bringing May flowers, but it's also giving bloom to a drought busting worry. How to manage the meltdown from our wet and wild winter. Back live now. One way to manage it is to adjust the reservoir levels, and that's something officials are looking at doing. Oh, by the way, 24 feet right here tonight in the Sacramento River. Last year at this time, get this, it was at five feet. Oh. I've said it before, we'll say wow. it again. What a huge difference mm. our storms have made. Yeah, what a difference a year makes. My goodness. All right, Tony, thanks so much for that live report. Dave, I